One of the things we believe in at The Ohio State University when playing the quarterback position is that your feet can do a, a ton uh, of improvement for you in terms of your accuracy, your pocket presence, and your ability to throw the football. Uh, we start every day with bag drills. We shuffle through the bags. We want their eyes up. You can see the coach there holding up numbers, so they have to call out the numbers to the coach, and they will call those numbers out. One thing we really stress to them is be balanced. We want to be on the inside balls of our feet. We want to have uh, flexion in our knees and in our ankles, and we want to be able to keep a base, so we want to be able to move quickly without uh, overstriding, because at any split second, we're going to need to be able to deliver the football. So in this drill, their eyes are on me, they're shouting out numbers as I hold them up, and then at some point in the drill, they don't know when, they're getting a ball call from me. Now here's your simple wave drill, same premise, we want nice quick shuffles, grazing the grass, we talk about grazing the grass with their cleats, and then you can either finish with a ball call or a tuck and run through a line. There was a finish with a ball call. This is a great drill for, for uh, pocket presence and awareness. Uh, just your simple bean bags filled with whatever. Uh, I use four of them and uh, we toss them and they've got to move around in the pocket but have a base. Again, keeping that armpit width base, uh, weight on the ball, inside balls of their feet, not on their toes, not on their heels, and keeping that base so that they're, they can plant their right foot if they're a righty in the ground at any split second. And again, you can finish this drill with a ball call or a, uh, a, run, a go call, which is a run through the line. If the, if the bean bag is thrown behind them and to their left, we spin out, snap our eyes around and find it. Again, another pocket awareness drill to keep their feet. Again, all these drills you can see are used without a ball using the bean bags here. Now give them a target far down the field enough so that they don't look at the bean bags as they're, as they're doing their drill. The whole key to this is keeping their eyes downfield and feeling the bean bags. And you can see the coach there, maybe double clutch. We always talk about in the pocket, only move as far as you need to move. So some of these shots you'll see the bean bag go flying wide, way wide you see him flinch right there. He shouldn't flinch. He should have no idea where the bean bags are. There's one way wide. He shouldn't have even moved. I think another one's coming up. And we hit him. And there, there's points for getting hit or not getting hit. Here we're just taking drops, sliding up into the pocket uh, to our left. And we'll do this drill coming back to our right. Cones five yards apart, hitting our third step from the gun. And shuffling up basically then what amounts to be about seven yards can be used as a conditioning drill as well as a functional uh, drill to, to improve your footwork. But again, this quarterback right here, feet, his heels are starting to click. Anytime you see those heels start to click, start talking to them and they get tired and this is after a morning run, but start talking to them about be quick, but don't be long. So we want to be long in our, uh, or we do not want to be long in our stride, but we want to be quick in the amount of uh, uh, ground that we gain. This drill again is just a getting out of the pocket drill. We're going to step up. We're going to simulate. Uh, the, the next phase of this is to actually simulate that rush. So low rush from the backside, spin out, find a cone and wait, find the cone and wait for the ball call. Here's a high rush from the front side, so we're up and out and around the pocket, find the cone, set up, and wait for a ball call.